So, uh, hi, hi everyone. So uh, it's the year 2016 and it's the year of Linux desktops and I'm using one too. Okay. So let me just drag this slide here. Okay, so uh, today I'm gonna give you guys a talk on Tai Chi accountability. So you guys know what is Tai Chi? So it's like a form of um, like a martial art that uh, some Chi people in the in past and even nowadays they still practice this martial art. And it's basically what it, what people mean by Tai Chi accountability means throwing the, the accountability to someone else. Yeah. So uh, and you know, uh, just a quick information about myself. I'm my name is Hui Ren, and I have a I <coughs> I have a tagline there: uh, proprietary software's worst nightmare. I think, yeah. So um, I do help out and and contribute to some open source projects. Uh, so you know, yeah, just yeah. So let's get straight on to the topic itself. A uh, so here's a really short bender. Yeah, Jenkins build. It takes time, right? Yeah. Anyway, uh, so very quick question for you guys: Have you ever made a mistake? Yes, right. Uh, hated someone or wanted to climb the corporate ladder? Yeah. Um, well, I'm here to propose to you a very great solution, something so innovative and mind blowing that it will change the industry forever, right? So yeah. Uh, tools we are gonna use today is some two very simple things, GitHub and, and Git. So just in case you don't know what is GitHub, it's a award-winning enterprise, yeah, reliable production, blah blah blah. Alright, so this is what you get at a typical conference itself. Anyway, uh, let's get on to the more serious stuff. Let's just show you a very quick demonstration because I can't really see where my mouse is right now. Does anyone? Okay. That's my mouse. So this thing is called a uh, git blame someone else. So uh, what it what it what it does is it does a interactive git rebase. Yeah, is it rebase? Uh, yeah, git rebase interactively. Yeah, and it it use that and then it changes the author of a particular commit. <laughs> so it's useful to you know blame someone. But as you as you guys uh might know, git rebase does leave trails behind. So this is not something very complete and it, it does leave some, some form of trails behind. Let's see um, um, this one. So uh, I tried blaming CJ and, uh, and, and you can see it, it still leaves the trail here. So the, it doesn't modify the entire tree branch itself because obviously because it's git rebase and I've not found a way to, to do it the manual, manual way. I think CJ might know how to. Yeah, so let me just give a very quick demonstration of how I'm gonna do that. So, uh, how do I enlarge things? Does, okay. Con uh, control. Con where's the plus sign? Control plus. Uh, uh, am I doing it wrong? <laughs> oh, okay. Thank you. That that works, right? Okay. Yeah. Okay, so uh, you know, I'm, I'm, no, this this is the wrong repo actually. Uh, never mind. Hold hold on, give me a minute. No, what is? <coughs> am, am I typing something wrong? There's, there's something wrong with my keyboard, okay? So let, let, let me try to press it manually. Okay, wait. So you guys use Cloud9, it got acquired by AWS, I think. Uh, yeah. So you get this, it's a fancy full ID, oh, uh, make your laptop cooler. Yeah, just, okay. So here itself, you got the terminal. So you guys know what what the terminal shell is, right? Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna try blaming someone today. Uh, any volunteers want to give their email and name? I don't know. Crap. 
trip. Uh, there's there's something wrong with my keyboard. I think I need left pad or something. <laughs> Holy crap! I don't know what's wrong with the key keyboard. Did I change the language or something? Yeah, you probably did. Sorry, you're not on Mac. I can't help you. <laughs> wow! Wow! Oh crap! Okay. Uh, Sadly, it's sadly 2016 is not the year of Linux desktop yet. Uh, <coughs> okay, but uh, there's always backups, right? There's, there's always backups. So uh, these are very simple how it, it, it looks like. So this is what happens. You, you see, uh, it basically just the, you need to install this thing, the git. Yeah, the installation commands is just right here itself, very self-explanatory. Then you do uh, this, you include the author name and their email, uh, no, no, not their email, uh, e e email as well, as well as the commit hash. Yeah, that's simple. And it does a git rebase and then changes the, the author to what, what, what you will see in here actually. Yeah, so CJ didn't commit this at all. I, I just did, a in, did that and then it happened. And so, uh, just uh, after the demonstration, um, there are ways to prevent this from happening. Very, very simple verification uh, using GPG or slash PGP, whatever you want to call it. Uh, okay. I, I, I think there's only one right way to call it. <laughs> <laughs> you said the wrong one. Oh, did, did I? That's why you're a computer. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> what is this? Okay, so uh, you, uh, if you all don't know what is PGP or itself, uh, let me just give a very quick introduction. It's just a way to you know, verify your identity itself. So it's to confirm, oh, uh, CJ is really CJ through what we call keys. And they need to sign these keys. And when you sign these keys, GitHub, I think about a year ago, a month ago, or a few months ago, they actually have this uh, tick, green color tick. When it, if the git is git, git commit that you pushed out is signed, there will be a green color tick. Yeah, very simple. And uh, this verifies whether the git commit itself is uh, you know verif verifiable. Uh, and that's about it. So you you guys can have fun with blaming people and all the best. Yeah, any questions? No. Okay. Yes. Sorry, if you're using a rebase, right? Mm -hmm. Can you just squash the two commits? Then the rebase commit will be. Oh, uh, it needs to do a git. Uh, it's a very sp specific git line. It's it's not like if you want to actually hide the owner. The I mean, like you really want it to be not me. Uh, it has to use a very. You have to go through the entire git tree entire thing. Yeah. So it's very tedious, and uh, it's not true rebase. Rebase will definitely leave a trail behind. Yeah. Any other questions? All right, I guess that's it. Thank you.